Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Jack Rotherham, the publisher at The Hill, and thank you for joining us for this morning's event, The Hill's Newsmaker Series, Tax Cuts and Small Business. We will begin our conversation with Larry Kudlow, Assistant to the President for Economic Policy and Director of the National Economic Council in just a few moments. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Job Creators Network, for their support of this event and the partnership. We appreciate it. Today's conversation is particularly timely as we approach this year's tax filing deadline, which happens to be next Monday, although I'm sure this room already knew that. As, a, as American small business owners file their taxes following recent changes to the tax code, we want to know what are they discovering and how have they been faring. This morning, we will look forward to hearing from Mr. Kudlow about the financial health of the nation's small business community. We will also examine additional policies the administration has put in place to help entrepreneurs. But first, just a few housekeeping notes before we get started. In addition to our audience here at the Marriott, we are also live streaming on thehill.com. With that, please keep your phones on silent throughout the duration of the program but we do encourage you to, to participate in the conversation on social media. In fact, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, at The Hill Events, and join the conversation using the hashtag, The Hill Newsmakers Small Biz. You can also send in questions for Director Kudlow using that hashtag on Twitter. Finally, you will receive an electronic survey at the conclusion of today's event in your inbox, we are always eager to hear how we can make our events more dynamic, and I thank you in advance for filling that out. So, before we move on to the program, I would now like to invite Elaine Parker, Chief Communications Officer with Job Creators Network, to the podium to offer brief remarks. Elaine, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jack. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out this morning. Um, and thank you to our guest speaker, Larry Kudlow, as well as uh, to The Hill for being such a great JCM partner. As most of you probably know, as Jack mentioned, tax day is right around the corner. And notably, this is the first tax season living with the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, legislation that went into effect in February of 2018. With the altered withholding tables, that allowed ordinary Americans to keep more of their hard-earned money. This legislation has reduced the tax burden for the vast majority of Americans, with the average family estimated to save $3,000 annually. But it's important not to confuse the size of your refund with the size of your tax cuts, as some critics are arguing. While it may not be as exciting as getting what feels like a windfall every April, it's abundantly clear that Americans are experiencing savings that are spread throughout the entire year. But today, we're here to highlight the specific benefits the legislation has had on America's small business owners, notably the result of the business 20%, small business 20% tax deduction, the ability to immediately expense capital investment, and lower tax rates across the board. It's evident these measures have boosted what many consider to be the backbone of the economy, small business. As some of you know, the Job Creators Network was founded by Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus and is a leading advocate for small business job creators when it comes to tax rates, regulatory issues, okay. and their ability to access credit. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that we fought hard to pass the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act in 2017. On behalf of the over 30 million small business owners and their 60 million employees across the country, and more than one year removed from its implementation, I'm happy to report the legislation is a great success. While there are countless macroeconomic indicators that demonstrate how the tax cuts have strengthened the middle class, empowered entrepreneurs, and contributed to our robust economy, whether that be job creation, the fastest wage growth in a decade, or the lowest unemployment rate in half a century, anecdotal evidence provides more powerful evidence. Take Nicole Walter, who runs a small manufacturing company in Wakanda, Illinois. Not only did the tax cuts allow her to purchase half a million dollars worth of equipment 
and hire new team members to run the machine. But the legislation directly, directly benefited current employees who received wage increases, bonuses, and 100% paid health insurance. For Guy Berkebile, owner of Guy Chemical in Somerset, Pennsylvania, he has a similar story. Because of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, he was able to build a new laboratory that was five times larger than the previous one, invest in new chemical compounding equipment, and purchase new packaging lines. On the employee front, wages were raised, bonuses were distributed, 29 new jobs were created, and the company was able to start a 401k program. And in an area like rural Pennsylvania, these changes have had an outsized, outsized impact on the community. These are a couple of examples of Job Creators Network members who have experienced a tax cut success story, and there are countless others. You can learn more about Job Creators Network and how small businesses are faring under policies like the tax cuts by visiting jobcreatorsnetwork.com, and you can join the fight with us. So again, thank you to everyone for coming out, and I hope you enjoy this discussion.